The Children's Hospital at Westmead is a special place, caring for the sickest children from New South Wales, Australia and across the Pacific Rim. Over 70,000 children and their families turn to us for help every year. The Children's Hospital at Westmead is part of the Sydney Children's Hospitals Network. As Chief Executive of the Network, I'm proud to be leading a team of professionals with an international reputation for providing the very best care to sick children and their families. At the Children's Hospital at Westmead, specialist medical care, advanced technology and groundbreaking research are blended in a positive healing environment where fun and laughter line the road to recovery. Children with severe burns, major heart conditions and liver and kidney diseases are referred here because we house leading specialty units within the hospital grounds. The hospital's research arm, the Kids Research Institute, is a hub of hundreds of researchers dedicated to finding causes and cures for a range of serious childhood illnesses. Their expertise is unlocking some of the greatest medical mysteries of our generation and their breakthroughs will have a global impact. We've been caring for sick children since 1880. Healthcare has changed dramatically since this time, but our strong focus to restore health to precious young lives remains the same. So the Grace Centre is a newborn intensive care unit based at the Children's Hospital at Westmead and uh, we look after some of the sickest babies in the state of New South Wales and they come to have cardiac surgery, general surgery or they may have very complex medical conditions that require the services of a children's hospital. In this particular place we have access to all of the specialties within a tertiary referral centre and so we can bring all of the resources that we need to to look after the most complicated babies. So little Jacob was um, born with a, quite a significant heart defect where the blood going to his lungs and the blood going to his body were reversed so his body actually wasn't getting adequate oxygen. I've got vital or vactyl syndrome. For 13 years I've been coming back and forth. I've had over 43 operations and I've had over 100 plane trips and over 200 flights. So this is little uh, Jacob's wound, it's called a stenotomy wound. As you can see it, it, it is quite big and he's certainly got more wounds down here where we've had to put drains into his lungs and into his chest um, to drain the fluid out from around his lungs and his heart. And that will be something that he will wear with him for his life and he should actually be quite proud of that because it's probably what saved his life. We're actually the largest provider of paediatric allergy and immunology services in New South Wales. We have a huge number of patients that we treat and manage. What we want to do is to be able to prevent the very disorders that we're treating them for. Well today we're being discharged and he's 17 weeks old and he spent 12 of them in hospital and he's had technically three heart bypass surgeries. All children seriously burnt in the state, they come here for treatment. And as well as that, we see probably a thousand new burns cases every year, which is approximately 20 children a week with new burns. We just call it my second home. We've been here for 30 years off and on. We would have uh, about 50 to 100 new kids with uh, inborn errors of metabolism being diagnosed each year and quite a number of them will be picked up through newborn screening. So uh, every baby in New South Wales, that's about 100,000 births a year, uh, has newborn screening and a proportion of, of those kids will be picked up as having one of these disorders that ends up coming to our clinic for ongoing management. Well, I think you've only got to look at a little thing like this to realise that kids are our future and this is where we need help. We really need help to get these, get the funds in to help the kids and the hospital itself. I, I think it's difficult for anyone to look at a little bubby like Jacob and think anything other than that he's very deserving of everything that we can do for him. Um, these little kids, they didn't choose to have anything wrong with them, but they're certainly very brave and courageous in how they get through their illness so anything that we can do to help them is worth it. This little man's got a long future ahead of him and he deserved to have a good start and we've been able to do that for him. You don't know until you walk down these halls and see how many sick kids and it's until it's one of your own it really hits home on how important this place is and 
how much we really do need this place. It's just amazing. We, we don't know where we'd be. The nurses just, have just done such a tremendous job and we owe them a lot. They've been great and we won't forget it. Here at the Children's Hospital at Westmead, we're lucky enough to have hundreds of world-class clinicians and researchers all working towards one goal, providing the best possible care for our sickest children so they can look forward to a healthy future.